So now let's talk about sets and relationship between different sets, how they are represented diagrammatically. So basically there are three basic concepts. One, the all relation. Two, the sum relation. And three, the no relation. So let's start with the first one, that is the all relation. Suppose I say that all A are B. That will be represented something like this. Here, the set that represents A would come inside the set that represents B. Because in this, in this diagram, you can see that the complete area under set A is a part of the set B. So we can say that all A are B. Similarly, say I take another example. If I say that all boys are human beings, it will be represented something like this. The set representing boys would come inside the set that represents human beings. But there is something worth noting here. All boys are human beings, but all human beings are not boys. Please remember that. And that can be proved something like this. Can you see that point there in the human being set? Is that a part of the boys set? No, right? So we can definitely say that here all human beings are not boys. Now suppose I say some A are B. That will be represented by this diagram. The first set represents A, the second represents B and there is some common portion between the two. We can take one more example to understand it better. Say I take an example. Uh, some men are teachers. It can be represented something like this. Here, the first circle represents men, the second circle represents teachers, and the common area you see in between the two circles, that represents those men who are teachers. It's worth noting here that not all men are teachers. These men are not teachers. Only the men in the middle are teachers. Next concept, if I say no A is B, it will be represented something like this. Here we have two distinct circles, that of A and B, with no common area between them. We can take another example, say if I say uh, no men are women. This can be represented by two different circles which have no common area because obviously men are different from women.